An aggressive panhandler. It can be awkward, unnerving, and just plain scary, and quite frankly, sad. Good evening, I'm Ursula Madden. I'm Joe Burst. Tonight we have a rare face-to-face -face confrontation caught on tape between a local politician and a man demanding money. Action News 5's Kanji Anthony is live with this exchange. Kanji, take us through what happened. Joe Ursula, I was right there. You know, it's nearly impossible to prosecute aggressive panhandlers. An officer has to actually witness it to even make an arrest. Today, our cameras happen to be rolling when an aggressive panhandler verbally attacked Shelby County Commissioner Steve Mulroy. It started out as an ordinary interview. Shelby County Commissioner Steve Mulroy was bringing his mother to the Brooks Museum, so we agreed to meet just outside the building near Overton Park. As our interview wrapped up, a man walked up and honed in on Mulroy. How you doing? Did you need something? Photojournalist Jermaine Black started recording when the man became aggressive, screaming expletives at Mulroy, asking why Mulroy was messing with him. I'm not. I'm not. We're doing an interview. I'm not. Keep your your mouth closed. Okay. The man walked away. Mulroy tried to make light of what had just happened. You know, I get that a lot. We continued the interview and never expected the man to come back asking for money. You got yeah. two dollars. I don't. No, I'm sorry. sorry. No way. I don't. I'm sorry. I told you to keep your mouth closed. Okay. Do this. Okay. Get two dollars, too. Nick, every time I see you, you better have two dollars. You're going to be here tomorrow? My biggest concern was the man kept his left hand in his pocket, and I didn't know if he had a weapon. You might notice the school bus in the background. This all happened while students on a field trip were inside the museum. Luckily, they did not witness the commotion. The encounter soon bordered on a physical confrontation. You touched me. Oh, no, I didn't mean to touch you. Get two dollars. Okay. All right. Fair enough. The man continued to threaten Mulroy as the man walked away. Don't pay out two dollars. Kick your ass. Okay. The commissioner said it was a learning experience and was concerned this man and many others need help. And my heart goes out to all the people that are, you know, like this. Mulroy added that this incident demonstrates the need for more mental health services. In fact, the Memphis City Council has been researching how to best address substance abuse and mental problems associated with panhandling. The council just passed an ordinance imposing tougher laws on aggressive panhandling, and that law goes into effect when the mayor signs it. Live in the studio, Kanji Anthony, Action News 5. All right. It's the baby steps we take together that make our community great like making a home energy efficient, helping your neighborhood, 